Hey everyone, welcome to another important video on most important skills required for software testers. So this video I'm creating because there has been a lot of requests from the freshers that they need a complete roadmap of how to start the career into, into software testing first thing. And then even from the experienced people, say for example, you have started your career, but you are not able to see the potential that is there in the software testing and what all you can learn and proceed further in your career so that you can have a fulfilling software testing career. So all of the aspects that you need, whether you are a fresher or you are an experienced person and you want to continue the software testing career and have a fulfilling career, I'll be covering all of that in this particular video. So the, the video will be divided into a couple of sections and the skills that I'm going to cover are some of the non-technical skills which are required for software testers and technical skills which are required for software testers and the mindset, right? So I'll be dividing it into multiple sections so that it's easily to consume and make sure that you watch this full video because I'll be also posting the important resources or the playlist that I have cre already created for each of the technical skills that you need in order to go ahead and progress further or start learning step by step. So all of that sequence will be provided, right? So most of the playlist, most of the technical skills that are required are available on my channel for free and I'll be posting those links already. But whichever are not available, I'll be creating them very soon and posting the links as well. Okay, so let's get started. The first and foremost very important skill that is required for software testers is the testing mindset, right? Now testing mindset involves a lot of um, skills basically, but the first thing is to assume whenever you are working as a tester, you don't assume that the system or the software is going to work as expected. You assume that there are bugs, right? When you are going through a documentation, you assume that there is a problem with the documentation. When you go through the requirement, you assume that it might have some gaps, right? It might have some of the issues or some of the acceptance criteria that are missing, right? So that assumption gives you the ability to question, to go ahead and question the information that is present with the stakeholders, with the business analyst and help identify any gaps. Okay, that's the first thing. Second, very important testing mindset skill is thinking or systems thinking, right? So thinking about the system or the software as a whole, what is the purpose of it? What is the end to end scenario? What is the end to end solution that that particular application that you are going to test is going to solve for the end user, right? Say, for example, you are going ahead in a banking application or testing a banking application. What that particular banking application is going to solve the purpose for end user. Now, if you are working in, say, for example, any of the bank and you are testing their app, now that banking app will solve the end user's pur purpose basically to view their bank balance, to transfer the amount to different people, to do the online shopping, to do other uh, sort of payments. So a lot of use cases from the end user's perspective, right? So thinking of that whole system as a whole and from end user's perspective is very, very important, right? So system thinking is thinking from the system as a whole perspective end to end. And then the next important point is seeing from the end user's perspective, right? So thinking about or seeing what end user is going to do from that particular application, how that application is going to help the end user. This thought process is always going to help you guys and make sure that you inculcate or you start thinking in that particular direction before you jump into the conclusion to the test cases. These steps are important. These this thinking is important, right? And then always have the exploratory behavior, right? So these are the four key points that I could come up with. There are many other aspects to it, but exploratory behavior is a behavior wherein you have always the behavior or thinking that you explore about the application. You don't stick to the number of test cases that you have just have documented. You can't document 100% of the test cases and the scenarios. When you start executing a particular test cases during that, if there is something that comes up in your mind that I should also go ahead and test this particular, this particular input, go ahead and test it, right? Having that exploratory behavior is also very, very important. 
so these four points will be really helpful and this is what testing mindset is and make sure that you inculcate the testing mindset before actually even thinking about starting a career or progressing in the career right now many people just start the career but you do not know what the testing mindset is it's obvious right it's, it's it was with me as well i mean i mean i didn't learn this prior to joining right so as and when you go ahead and go along you learn this right the good thing is nowadays you have so much good information flowing around make sure that you follow the right information right not the misinformation in or even on youtube you will find a lot of misinformation so avoiding misinformation following the right information from the right set of people who are really experienced in that particular field is going to help you in excelling your career so that's the first part okay now the second part of the most important skills for the software tester is the non-technical skills right now many people just propagate or promote that only automation is going to help you selenium with java that's very very minimal part of your whole roles and responsibilities okay that is important but there are many many more important things apart from just that programming data structure and writing the scripts right so what are the non-technical skills very important non-technical skills four of them i'm going to cover as well the first one analytical and logical mindset now analytical thinking is important because you as a tester are uh, required to basically break down the big piece of system and software and think it in a smaller unit right so if you are able to break it down to smaller unit think in a modular format and then also as a end-to-end -end flow that will help you to first test it independently and then also test different integration points and the system as a whole right so that's where analytical logical mindset will be really really helpful the second thing very very important is interpersonal skills right communication verbal communication verbal non-verbal listening abilities negotiation skills right persuasion so all of these skills come under interpersonal skills now communication why is it important because you need to document a lot of emails you need to document test cases test plan a lot of things right so written communication becomes important verbal communication becomes important because testing is not just about going through and executing script is about collaborating and providing information to the stakeholders so that decisions can be made so a lot of communication is involved and you will be talking to each and every team member very frequently mostly every day right so interpersonal skills become really important now this is not just about knowing english and knowing and if you do if you're not fluent and very good at uh, fluent english that's not a problem you should be able to have a level of comfort that you are able to communicate communicate that information right so only that level is important and eventually you will be able to pick up the language as well as far as you are able to articulate what you want to say to the stakeholders to the to your team members that's absolutely fine now the third very important non-technical skills is time management and project management okay so time management and project management why because time management is required when you have to go ahead and document something when you have to go ahead and execute the test cases you need to have or you need to make sure that you are able to do it in a relevant time frame right you should be able to estimate the work properly okay you should be able to see how big the task is right so that's where basically how big the task is and how you are able to achieve that in that particular time frame that's where time management skills become become really important and time management skills everyone is coming from school and college you already have those skills right you you manage the exams you are able to write the exams you are able to finish it in three hours so that's basically what the time management skills are so in testing you are going to apply something similar to see how big the chunk of work is and then how much time you might be able to use or require to achieve that particular piece of work the fourth very important non-technical skill is willingness to learn okay so willingness to learn is very very important 
because as a tester if you stop learning you stop exploring then you are basically not doing good anything to yourself and to your career right so your willingness to explore to learn new thing whether it's in the project outside of the project is very very important as well okay now coming to the third part which is the technical skills okay technical skills are the foundation basically so the, these are these all non technical skills and mindset you will be able to inculcate prior on so many people have many of these skills by default okay so you don't have to especially go ahead and prepare them but technical skills if you don't have you you have to go ahead and prepare those so first very important technical skill is software testing fundamentals so understanding the software testing fundamentals is very very important so going through what are the basics of software testing and the basics of so the 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 complete basic of how the testing is done and why it is important what types of testing all of that fundamentals is really important if you can do istqb certification all of these testing fundamentals are anyways covered in the software testing uh, istqb certification so with one sort of preparation you will be able to learn the fundamentals as well as do the software testing istqb certification as well so that will be a bonus add on because istqb certification is very valued and will really help you to get, uh, go ahead and ex excel in your career as well because it's it's very well recognized well worldwide worldwide okay now the second very important technical skills is skill is learning jira okay so it's a tool it's a agile project management tool but it is so widely used in nowadays in the projects that you need to understand what exactly it is and how to use it and using jira is absolutely simple i have the playlist created for jira and confluence so go ahead and go through those playlist for learning jira and confluence okay i have playlist for software testing fundamentals as well and istqb certification i'll post the link for that as well so these are the two very important technical skills to start with okay now along with jira and confluence you need to have the agile scrum basic skills as well okay so i I'll be posting a series or the series is already posted i'll be posting the link for that particular agile and scrum fundamentals knowledge as well so it's just like one or two hours course and you will be able to learn completely about the agile scrum and scrum fundamentals and how it is used in the software testing project for software delivery okay now the third uh, fourth very important uh, skill is learning any test management tool right so nowadays because you are using jira so there are test management plugins within jira itself so zephyr and x-ray are very very popular and most of the time when you go into the project you will be end up doing or using any one of these and some projects might be using some other test management tool but the concept remains same if you learn one test management tool and capabilities within the tool the implementation might be different the look and feel might be different but the overall concept will remain same so i have created tutorial series on zephyr and x-ray as well i'll be posting the links for those as well okay now fifth very important aspect or skill is learning the api testing so api testing or web service testing becomes really important if you can't learn automation at least you should know what apis are how you can go ahead and test it right now there are many many tools available there is a postman there is a soap ui right so and there are other programming languages that you can use there is a rest assured framework so all of that uh, tools can be used but the easiest one to start with is postman or soap ui i'll be posting the link for those the other one is catalone and all three tools i've created the series and i'll be posting the link for those as well okay now another skill is sql okay structured query language and database concept because any application will have the data and data is stored into the database you need to know how to fetch that data and see how what say for example you are testing an e-commerce application when you do a registration where that registration information gets stored it will be stored in some sort of data then you need to search that data or say for example i as a customer have registered and then i want to see whether registration has been successful and that data is stored somewhere or not then that's where you need this structured query language to search for the data and this is 
basically important because this is the basis of any say for example you are using any other uh, type of or, or other uh, database technologies still the structure of querying will still remain same so having that sql knowledge will really help you to do any database testing and uh, also help you in any end-to-end uh, -end testing efforts now the next very important skill technical skill is linux fundamentals okay so linux command fundamentals so that is very important and it is it will be a very short series i haven't created it yet but i'll be creating it very soon and that will help you to understand what linux unix systems are and how to interact with, with those systems and what are the common commands that you need to be aware of as a tester okay now the next important skill is web automation okay and that's where this selenium java selenium python karate framework and lot of low code no code frameworks come in picture okay now this one part is promoted so much apart from all other skills which is basically highly um, sad to see in the market right because this part is uh, exaggerated i would say that it will solve all your problems right it's not going to solve all your problem it's not going to do analytical thinking for you it's not going to do any sort of communication verbal non-verbal it's not going to do any management for you right so this skill learning web automation is important it will help you to expedite your testing by automating or automating the repetitive work okay or automating the web scripts that you usually say for example there there is a regression suite and there is a web uh, a website that you want to automate that regression suite so you can use these web automation tools so selenium with java selenium with python um, there are, there is a, a tosca uh, which is a low code uh, automation tool right and then there are many other low code automation tools nowadays uh, in in the market but selenium with java is very very popular wherein you will be needing the requirement for java as well as selenium right there is a series that i have posted for a robot framework which is for web automation web automation there is a series for selenium with java selenium with python all of those series i'll be posting the link so you can pick any one of it which is whichever is easier i would recommend picking karate okay because that's the easiest one if you are a fresher okay to start with and you you don't need any sort of heavy programming skills to start with karate framework okay so i'll post all of the links that are there now the last very important thing that i think okay and this might be this this is basically what my experience has been what has helped me to progress in my career and have a great career overall is a cloud computing basics right so last skill which is very important because cloud computing is the latest technology i mean it's not latest it has been there for a while but nowadays everyone is moving towards cloud so you need to have that understanding of the cloud computing basics as well okay so these are the eight very important technical skills for cloud computing basics i'll be creating a series as well so which will be specifically for the tester so it will it will be you know easy for you guys as well so whatever series i have most of the series i have apart from linux okay and cloud computing which will be coming very soon but apart from that most of the things are there this is the complete roadmap if you are a fresher experienced person you want to grow as a test lead manager learn these skills guys and your career will be in a totally different tra trajectory and direction okay and this these skills you don't try to learn all at once basically keep learning or make learning a habit right so this all uh, learning all of this will take time okay so make sure that you are easy on yourself and you give time to each of these skills and you consume the information practice it and then go ahead and basically progress and excel in your career right you will see that as soon as you will start learning you will start gaining more confidence and eventually you will land up in the in the job if you're not already and you will start progressing in your career if you haven't been progressed or promoted okay so that's all for um, this particular uh, video and uh, i hope this was helpful so see you in the next very important tips and tricks video thank you